Mayong uh, gabi sa tanan. Uh, we are glad that this evening you can join us sa sining uh, Easter Musical. This is actually a joint effort of Masaba Christian Church and Megumi Academy. Kagapasalamat kit kami sa inyo presensya sa sining hapon. As we uh, celebrate Easter, we are thankful nga ang ininga adlaw is one of the most significant day kung hindi most significant one of the most significant day uh, sa history sang humanity as we know that this is the time we commemorate the rising the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ now in this evening just very very briefly as we continue before we listen to the songs we will have this opportunity to listen to God's word and study God's word this uh, evening and I just would like to uh, lead you to a very familiar text uh, just one verse in Philippians chapter 3 verse 10 it reads that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his death okay as we study God's word let's commit this time to the Lord in prayer let's pray father we thank you for this very special day we thank you father that this is the day that Jesus Christ has been victorious over sin and over death as he has conquered life. And we thank you, Father, that as we would celebrate this, we will have the opportunity to listen to songs that will remind us of this truth. And also, Father, this time we will have the opportunity to open your word and meditate upon it. We pray, Lord, that you will open our eyes and our minds that indeed we will see the things that you would like us to see from the passages of the scriptures that we will be learning tonight. We commit this time to you. Bring your blessings upon us. In Jesus' name, amen. If you search the internet, ang isa ko no sa pinaka most visited nga tourist spot dili sa Pilipinas is the island of Boracay. No? Kaya ang iban sa inyo nga nakakadto sa Boracay, kag first na siguro nga tapak dito sa Boracay, ma'am, balmagid ka mo nga it's worth the travel no? from here Matabok ka sa Iloilo, kaya matravel ka for six hours and experience super fine nga white sand beach. Ka, uh, makita mo ang kamot sa ginoo. Pero mahambal ko siguro nga kung ang ina nga amazement, kag ang ina nga pagka o oh, in relation to being in that one of the most visited places in the Philippines would lose its effect. Kung dito ka nag-aubra, kag-adlaw-adlaw at to ka na to. No? Kung ang ubra mo nga pamulot, gato sang sagbot, siguro miskan ano pa na da, ka nami sa Burakay, kada adlaw, pagbugtaw mo, ma-realize mo nga isa na maliwat ka ordinary day. And somehow, kung amo nang imo nga situation, so tragic because you're missing the whole beauty of it. You realize nga ala ka da sa Burakay, ang ibang nga tao, gakapakapa, nga makakadto da, and then ikaw, the extraordinary just simply became ordinary for you. May wala na tani kung burakay lang, but sometimes in our Christian life, what happens is this reality. At times, ang isa ka extraordinary nga bagay becomes ordinary to us because we have been so used to it. Kagang isa siguro ka event nga hambal ko, isa sa pinaka extraordinary kag significant nga event sa ato niya history as humanity would be the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Pero kita nga mga Christians, especially ha, sa kultura sa Pilipino nga kada Holy Week, ginaselebrate ang Friday, kag ang Saturday, kag ang Sunday, Easter, we just simply go through the motions of it. Kasi siguro sa Sunday, pero pagkadasan niya at law, it's just like Another ordinary day that has passed and it has no effect on me. Kaya kasubo, ang ato niya kabuhi hindi matandog sa sining extra ordinary nga adlaw. The day where the Lord Jesus Christ has conquered death and risen to life. Kaya kagina galantaw ta sa uh, video, sometimes because we're so focused on our own agenda, we miss seeing the whole point. 
tumakibot lang ta hala si Jesus tagale and at times sa aton nga pagka going through the motions of religion sometimes we miss such extra ordinary thing kay kana may bala kay si apostle paul if we read his letter to the philippi christians naghambal sa sang iya isaya kaem and found in philippians chapter 3 verse 10 nambal ya that i may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to the image of his death if we read the whole passage or if we read the whole book of Philippians, kinsulat ni Apostle Paul sa mga Christians sa Philippi. A little background, this was written while Paul was in prison. Kag surprisingly, ironically, the theme of the book is joy. Kaya na, maglipan batsagon, ngang isa kataong ara sa sulod sa prisohan, actually house arrest, would encourage those who are outside to be happy and to be rejoicing. Possibly, Gambal si Apostle Paul, yes, it's possible because our joy is not dependent on our circumstances. Kag si Apostle Paul nag-encourage, ni kag ang isa ka reason na nga uh, sarang sa makapangalipay in spite sa iya nga circumstance And I'm sure some of us are going here nga sa Tagalog, ang iban sa aton may mga pinagdadaanan. No? Kisa akong isulat ta aton ka po ito pang maalaala mo kaya man yung may mga pinagdadaanan ta. Pero ma-realize mo that you can be happy in spite of the pinagdadaanan mo. Knowing because you have something greater in you that gives you joy. Kaya mo ng goal ni Apostle Paul. Nagamba siya that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to the to his death. No, like at this point, he is already near the end of his letter. Kasi si Apostle Paul nag-share na da sa Isaiah sa kagol sa sinayang kabuhi. If he has one goal in life, that is to know Jesus Christ, that is to know and experience the power of his resurrection, and finally, that is to experience and share his suffering. Kaya makita mong ini nga goal has been so overwhelming sa kay Apostle Paul when we try to understand what he traded off. Ano ang gin, ano ang gin exchange siya sa sininga goal? Sa verse uh, 4 to 9, naghambal si Apostle Paul, though I also might have confidence in the flesh, if anyone else thinks he may have confidence in the flesh, I more so. Gin trade off ni Apostle Paul, hambal sa verse 5, circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews concerning the law, a Pharisees concerning seal, persecuting the church concerning the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. Verse 7, But what things were gained to me, this I have counted loss for Christ. Kasi Apostle Paul naghambal, Amunik, hadako ako nga achievement already as a religious person, but all of this I live behind and I count all of this as loss for Christ. In fact, so verse 8, nagprang kapagid sa, Yet, indeed, I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them as rubbish that I may gain Christ. Magbalik ka sa original nga Greek, ang rubbish, kalain mo di ihambal sa palpet, pero this is dang. Kung sa ilonggo pa, tae. Gambal si Apostle Paul, tanan nga achievements nga nalabotan ko, I consider them as dung in comparison to who Christ is. Kanami, no? Sa amuna, nga passion sa ni Apostle Paul. And that's where he started sa so verse 9 na gambal siya. And be found in him not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from faith. Kagahambal si Apostle Paul, that if there is something I am trading off, my achievements, my religious status, something which I feel important, I trade this off because I want to know and experience Christ. Then I make this a nag-reflect bala. Anong mga bagay sa atong kabuhi 
that competes in our hearts. His a kung pa mang kutun tanaa pa Sean, what are the things that hinders me? Like Apostle Paul na magambal, I want to know Christ. What are the things that hinders me? Okay, may mga competition sa akong na heart. Kasi Apostle Paul naghambal, inis sila ng mga competitions. I'm trading this off for something greater. Kasi sa paglumpat sa verse 10, naghambal si Apostle Paul sa iyang target that I may know Him and the power of His resurrection and the fellowship of His sufferings being conformed to His death. May threefold purpose na daw or target si Apostle Paul. The first is no. Kung magbalik ka sa original Greek, Sa English, ang no is something like head knowledge. But when we look at the original Greek, ang no na da naghahambal niya, experience. It's knowing by experiencing. Kag ang goal ni Apostle Paul is, I want to come to a point in my life that I will not just know Jesus by head, but I want to know Jesus by heart and by experience. Kag sa tuo lang kadamo sa aton church member nga ko magdebate theology sa kad sa agad pero at the end of the day ang kabuhi naton daw kabuhi nga wala tuo na ka experience sa kay Kristus. Kag ang goal ni Apostle Paul is I want to come to a point in my life where every day is an experience of knowing Jesus. More. Kana may isang hambal ni ni Jerry Bridges ang tuod-tuod ko nga Christian as he contemplates God in the awesomeness of His infinite majesty, power, and holiness, and then as he dwells upon the riches of His mercy and grace poured out at Calvary, his heart is captivated by this one who could love him so. Sakto na experience, no? I hope makambal kasi mo kabuhi. Yeah, there was a time in my life when I heard the gospel and I was lavished by the love of God. May nakambal gito yung uh, Lord, nami nami kagid, nami nami kagid. Pero nagsugbon si Jerry Bridges, he is satisfied with God alone but he is never satisfied with this present experience of God. He always yearns for more. Kag amuning desire ni Apostle Paul, every day, every day, I want to know Him. Kag ang pangamuyo, ta Lord, kabay pagit niya, every day, I also will know you. And of course, isa ka namit namit, get niya encouragement sa aton as we experience God, is what happened to the first Christians in Acts chapter 2 verse 42, they continued steadfastly in the Apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayer. Simple as that, we know Jesus by reading His Word, by listening to His Word, by praying, and by fellowshipping with one another. Another target ni Apostle Paul as he continued is not just know Him, but also know and experience the power of His resurrection. A word that ang power comes from the term nga ginahalinan sa word man natin, subong dynamite. Uh, it's a power that grows. It's a power that is getting bigger and stronger. Kaya naghambal na da ang original sa resurrection, literally it's standing up. Na nag-refer standing up to life. Uh, na namian ko nila mag-meditate kaysa ato niya mga Christians kaysa kakapirdita sa sala. Pero when we go back to this verse, si Apostle Paul naghambal, you have in you a power that will enable you to be victorious in your Christian life. Just tap on it. Kagambal si Apostle Paul every day, as I know Jesus Christ, I will also experience the power of His resurrection. Sa Romans chapter 8, verse 10 and 11, nagambal, And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the Spirit is life because of righteousness. And there is a great promise here that we can always hang on. So verse 11, But if my Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies 
through his spirit who dwells in you. Christians, basi ka ka tagakabuhi ka sa defeat every day. Kung basi ka ka gamba, ka pala nga do ka ka perdi na lang ito sa ako niya Christian life. Oh. Gamba lang Roman sa ato niya ang gahom nga nagbanhaw sa kay Kristo Isos. A moment ang gahom na magpataog sa inyo. Just that one. Nagambal sa 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And I just would like to share na namian ko sa ginambal ni Tim Keller. They're one of the uh, recent day theologians in the UK. Nagambal siya, to know Christ is to interact with him personally. But the power of his resurrection is the very life energy that took his dead body and raised it up to life again. So for me, to know the power of his resurrection is to have the same power that came into Jesus and raised him up to come into my dead soul and raise me up. And as he ends, he said, this is not about relationship, but about supernatural character growth. And I'm in a whole Christian life, mapun an man ya tane no, matubo ko sa pagilala sa kay Christ Jesus. When Paul says, I want to know him, it means I want to be with him. But when he said, I want to know the power of his resurrection, it means I want to be just like him. Do you want to be like Jesus? Tap on the power of his resurrection. Kabay pagit adlo adlo makamaka Lord. I thank you because you're changing me every day to be conformed to the image of your son. You're changing me every day to be like Jesus Christ. And this is the power of the resurrection. Power of changing you from your sinful state to being like Jesus. Power to be just like him. And as he ends, yang a third target, nagamal siya, and the fellowship of his sufferings. Katingalahan, nga si Apostle Paul nagambal, I want to have fellowship with the sufferings of Christ. Magbalik ka naman sa original nga term, fellowship is partnering. Mapartner ko sa pag-antos ni Kristo Jesus. Kaya sa tuutuod lang, hambal nila ko nung inakalibutan, luhang duha. Uh, dutang luhaan according sa mga katigulangan. Kaya siya ito mangyay. Si, si, si S. Lewis naghambal, when you suffer, God uses a megaphone to tell you the reality of this life. Kaya siya ito mangyay. Kaya siya ito mangyay. Enjoy, enjoy lang ito sa sinayakalibutan, but ma-realize mo that suffering will tell you, uy, umalagi ka lang sa sinayakalibutan. Ang problema lang galing naton is wala ta galing ka partner sa suffering ni Jesus kay ang aton nga suffering kis a is uh, that of our own sufferings. Pero kana may bala ang partnering has been uh, seen in Acts chapter 3 verse uh, Acts chapter 9 verse 3 to 5. If you remember the time nga si Saul naglakad sa Damascus, nagambal si Kagin Bulag to sa pag katuyada sa verse na nagambal. As he journeyed, he came near to Damascus and suddenly a great, as a light shone around him from heaven. There's a verse 4, and he fell on the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Nagambal na si Jesus, Saul? Yeah, I got persecuted sa ahon. In reality, si Jesus already ascended in heaven. Kag wala na na si Jesus. But at this point, si Saul was persecuting the church. Picture verse 5, nagambal. And he said, Who are you, Lord? Then the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. It is hard for you to kick against the ghost. Kag ang reflection, tabala sa sining nga, nga passage, gambal. If you're suffering for Christ, Jesus takes it personally. Kung gaantos ka sa kay Kristo, seryoso, gali si Kristo, nga magambal partner ko na sa bala, gaantos na sa para sa akon, 
his suffering would also be my suffering. Ang isyo talang galing siguradu hunta that it is his suffering. Kasi totoo lang, kadamo di wali, kasi masama, no, kadamo sa mga sufferings na sa kabuhi that are self-inflicted. Gaantos na subong, hindi man kahit tungod sa kay Kristo Isos. Gaantos na tungod man sa aton nga kadungulan sa kabuhi. Gaantos na tungod man sa aton nga mga desisyon nga hindi mayo nga ganyan pang himo sa una. Kabay pa ganyan nga goal taman, if there is something that I will be partnering with Christ in this life, I hope that I will also be honored enough to partner with Him in His suffering. Okay, kung partner mo si Jesus sa inyong suffering, humble sa Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15 to 16, For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was at all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Kanami, kay kung gaan to, sa kabla sa ginoo, may high priest ka who also suffers with you. Kasi verse 16, naghambal, because of that, you can come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Teka nami, when you know Christ, experience Him daily, you experience the power of His resurrection. But then, it is a great honor to partner with Jesus Christ in His suffering. And that's the target of Apostle Paul. Sa atong niya Christian life, may that goal be our goal as well. Okay, kung mag-abot na, our lives will be transformed. And the transformation, and I just would like to end with this story in the Bible. If you are living knowing Jesus, if you are living experiencing the power of changing you to become Christ-like, the power of His resurrection, and you are partnering with Christ in His suffering, a great transformation can happen. Sa Exodus chapter 34, verse 28 to 29, naghambal na ng experience ni Moses. So when he was there with the Lord 40 days and 40 nights, he neither ate bread nor drank water. And he wrote on the tablets the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. Moses was in this situation, in communion with God face to face. 40 days, 40 nights. Wala kakaon, wala man ka inong tubig. God sustained to him. Pero ang nami, ang resulta, sa sinaang experience, now it was so when Moses came down from Mount Sinai, and the two tablets of the testimony were in Moses' hand when he came down from the mountain, that Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone while he talked with him. Sabi niyo, ang tao, nga nagkakilala kay Kristo, kaya nagka-experience sa iya, ang tao nga ginabago sa gahong, sa resurrection, becoming more like Christ, and ang tao that shares his sufferings will eventually reflect the glory of Christ in this life. Kanami, tanit na ko sa kabuhi ko, Lord, may maghambal pala sa imo, maghambal sa imo nga, ano ka ordinaryo, kalaman niyang tao, pero tabi mo, kada upot ko pala sa imo, kada upod ko sa inyo, na namian ko kay makita ko si Jesus sa inyo. Na namian ko, kaya hindi ka magigit amunak ka sagat-saga, hindi ka magigit amunak ka alam-alam, pero kung updanay ito ganit, I can see Jesus reflected in your life. And this can only happen as a transformation when I experience Jesus every day, when I experience the power of changing me to be like Him, and when I am purified as I partner with Christ in this afternoon. Kapag pagid yung ining ay Easter will not be another ordinary Sunday for you. Some of you may come came here nga ah isa naman ka Sunday mapungko na mangkuda kag mamate. May it be not just an ordinary Sunday that I will miss the whole point of it and just go through the motions of religion. Have I forget that my life 
will be transformed. If you want your life to be transformed, experience Jesus more. Can you forget that as we meditate on this message and as we listen to the songs that Jesus is alive, I forget that we will continue to have hearts that will be willing to listen. And if you want a life that is changed and transformed, I hope each and every one of us will be able to say this night, I have experienced Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We pray, Lord, that you will bless this in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen.